The trees that line Rice University's campus can often fade into the scenery for students, staff, and faculty here, but they're a fascinating feature for visitors, including these Houston ISD students taking part in the Center for Environmental Studies summer program. It's just a fascinating and really fun way to start the week of just meeting all these trees and learning about what keeps them healthy, all the incredible work they do for our campuses. The tree tour was one of the first activities for the students who live on campus as part of the free week-long program. It's really also a bit of a pre college experience to figure out this is what college feels like. Yes, you can do this. You deserve to be here, which is great because a lot of the, the kids we work with really are imagining college but are a little nervous about what that might look like. Throughout the week, the students learned about environmental justice issues facing the planet down to their own neighborhoods. A lot of them really come in with a kind of notion of like environmental work means conservation or like ecological study. And by the end of the week, we have students who are like, oh, I want to do environmental communications. Oh, I, I'm really interested in, you know, the research of climate science. Oh, I'm really interested in these public health ramifications and thinking about why my neighborhood has higher levels of cancer than other ones do. Field trips and other activities, including an afternoon spent playing and discussing the card game more and more, built on input from experts. It's a very well-rounded group, a lot of different exercises, a lot of different ways of thinking about these questions, but it also means we're showing them a lot of different kind of ways of researching and what research means in different fields. It's about allergies and botanical sexism. By the time Friday rolled around, as far as like infrastructure, the students were able to present their own research in a variety of formats, videos, presentations, even handmade newspapers and brochures. Under the soil, there's a whole like herd of microorganisms. The question that we really were answering last year and this year as well is, and how do you communicate that? How do you bring that to a wider public? How do you take this to your community, to people that you care about? In doing so, the Center for Environmental Studies planted the seed, the roots of which will grow just like those of the trees students admired at the start of the program.